So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create. No, actually, I can. Uh, I'm going to come here to this um, custom shape tool, hold it down to reveal uh, the rest of the uh, functions of that button, and then create the rounded rectangle tool. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to click once on the background and just drag. Now we need to add a bit of style to that button. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to double click on the layer. Make sure you don't click on the text because that just um, lets you edit the text. Edit the text. So I'm going to double click and I'm just going to drag this to the middle so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So what we do is we need to add a stroke, and the stroke is going to be one pixel, and the color to change the to set the um, the color of the stroke. You need to double click, and then selecting this color from our color palette, and then clicking OK. We also need gradient overlay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on gradient overlay and then double clicking this gradient. This enables us to um, to select the color, the custom colors that we need. So I'm going to click on this color stop, double clicking on the color. I'm going to select this really dark brown and then clicking OK to apply. And then I'm going to click again on this color stop and then I'm going to click a lighter brown so you can see gradient has come in there so I'm just going to click OK to apply I'm not quite happy uh, with the direction the gradient is going so I'm going to click reverse and I think I'm happy with that uh, next we need to add an inner glow so I'm going to click on inner glow and make the size say one pixel and then click OK so let's see how that looks. I'm going to hide my guides by clicking the control semicolon. And to view this in, hundred, uh, in full view, you need to press control one. Okay, I'm just going to click away. That looks quite nice, actually. So I'm happy with that button. Okay, I'm just going to click zero to make my document fit my working area. And I want to add some text to this button. So I'm just going to type, I'm just going to click on the type tool and then just type order now. We deliver. And you can put whatever time. I'm just going to put 24 hours. So I'm just going to select this. We deliver in 24 hours text and just make it smaller. I would say about 16 pixels and then make the order, order now text a bit larger like so. Okay. I'm just going to drag and just pull this into position. Okay, I'm also going to add a triangle to the button. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the rounded rectangle tool and selecting custom shape tool. Now, since it's already selected here on the shape, I'm just going to click and drag because it's pointing the wrong way. I'm just going to press control T, get the free transform tool, and then just rotate that into position and then pressing enter to apply. it. What I've noticed now is this triangle has taken the settings that I had for, for the button. So to get rid of that, you need to click on this FX icon and drag it all the way to, the, to this little bin like that. Again, this text is way above this full site. So we need to click on it and then drag it down like so. I'm just going to group the button and then select these three layers. This, this is our button that we've just created. I'm going to make a group called order button. And then press OK to apply. Now we need to start working on the header, the header portion of the website. Uh, and then after that, what we're going to do is we're just going to do some finishing touches because already I can see that the text here on the navigation is a bit too dark. So we need to lower that and um, just make it blend into the website and make it easy for the eye. OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to start working on the header part of the design. So I need to click on this palette and just move it out of the way. OK, I'm going to bring back my um, my guides by clicking Control semicolon we need to type taffy's cupcakes okay i'm going to select this text and we're going to choose the font georgia okay so we're going to make this bold and increase the size to about say 46 okay that looks good so i'm just going to drag it into position okay to make sure that the text is aligned correctly you need to click on the text layer Hold on the control key and then click the background. And then once those two layers are selected, you need to come here and click this button here because this aligns everything with the horizontal centers. So next we need the tagline that goes with that logo. I'm going to click on the tab tool, type fresh and tasty. Again, I'm going to highlight this text, choose a different font for this subheading. Yeah, maybe I can go with that. Okay, that's fine. 
I'm just going to click the down arrow to nudge it down into position. Well, I can see the text is a bit too big, so I'm just going to click the type tool, highlight it, and reduce the size to about 30 pixels. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to click on this background. We need to add a glow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new layer, making sure the foreground color is white. I'm going to double click on the set foreground color and type in this box six Fs. And then clicking OK. I want to go to the brush tool. I'm going to increase the size of the brush by clicking the right bracket. Like that. And then just clicking once. You can see that glow. So I'm going to make the brush size smaller by pressing the left bracket key. Now that's a bit too bright. So what we're going to do is we need to lower the opacity by um, clicking that layer and going up to the top here where it says opacity and just dragging down to say about, I think 80% will do. Okay, great. Okay, now that we have the design in order, what we're gonna do now is just to do some finishing touches and just basically making sure that everything is in line and we've got the exact colors that we need on the website. So I'm gonna start by uh, working on the navigation. I'm not very happy with this text because it's a bit too dark. So I'm gonna lower the color Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the type tool, go to the about us text and just highlight it. And then I'm going to go to the set text color, click once, and then I'm just going to click on the palette and see which color really goes with, with those links. I think I'm very happy with this one. So I'm going to click once and commit by pressing OK. So I'm going to do the same with the rest of the links. Okay, um, next I'm just going to drag this content text into position. So um, I'm gonna click the move tool, click on the text, and then just nudge it using my um, the right arrows. And just make sure that uh, it's in line with the top of the button, like that. Okay, I'm gonna click the secondary text and just drag it up, and then just drag this cupcake. I also need to make sure that this cupcake and the order button are aligned horizontally with the center line. So I'm just gonna click the cupcake and no, holding down the control key, I'm going to press the order button and then I'm just going to click this align vertical centers. Also clicking the right arrow like that. Okay, I think that will do. And also I've noticed that this button seems to be a bit too big. So what I'm going to do is with that whole folder selectors, I'm going to press the control T to get the free transform tool and then just drag it down like so. And then just press enter. Okay, that seems much better now. There's also another thing that I forgot to do on the background of this navigation. We've got too much of a sharp edge. I'm just going to click control semicolon to get rid of these guides. We've got too much of a sharp like cur I mean sharp angles here. So we we needed to like fade into the background a bit more. So the one way to achieve that is by deleting some of the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click once on the background so we can see here, we've got the nav BG selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the eraser tool, click once, and then um, I'm just going to delete the bottom, like just by clicking a few times. Okay, that looks much better. I think we're almost done now. So what I'm going to do now is change the color of the main logo. 